flew in. Um, just flew in this morning from San Francisco. I was uh, out of town during my book release, so that's why I timed the winners for the Great World Giveaway for today. Um, today's also uh, Amber's birthday, so um, if you're on her Facebook page, um, I don't know if anybody can post to her wall, but go flood her wall with happy birthdays. Um, so I've got the stuff I'm going to give away here. I've got my raffle copter page up. Um, I also discovered something interesting just now. Uh, I've got the final, the last batch of the um, of the Mike Tabor Wool One, and <clears throat> I'm going to give away uh, a whole bunch of those for people who, who signed up for my newsletter. Something I've had running for a while. I haven't picked the the date on that yet, but I have them all stacked up like this. I noticed one of these is brighter than the other, and literally out of every one of these that's ever been printed, only one of these as far as I know, it's been on white paper instead of cream. My thought is maybe that CreateSpace had, um, I don't know how this would have gone through, because I've seen the way their printing operation works, and um, that's a mystery to me. But um, So that one I'm not giving away, because that's, um, I don't want a, a disappointed reader out there getting a white page wool when they should be cream. That'd be so disappointing. Um, so what I'm giving away today is, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, I have five sets of the one through five. These things are, uh, as a full set, are quite rare, so um, these were sitting in my mom's uh, wool shop for, um, well, for the last, uh, over, almost, uh, over a year and a half, almost two years now. So, um, you should have gone to her knit shop in Charleston and bought these books from her. She's practically giving them away. She felt bad charging money for them. Uh, maybe that's where I get that from. So uh, I've got five full sets of these. I'm going to find winners for those. And then I have these extra copies of two and four, which um, I'm, I'm kind of glad it's these two. If you if you just – I think two is the the best story out of the, the five original. I just love that the romance between Johnson and Marnes. And the thing I love about four um, is the the way each chapter ties into some quote pulled from um, Romeo and Juliet. Um, so I think these are two of the best out of the set. And I happen to have three of each. And it's, in order to have more winners, I'm going to give away each of these individually. Um, so maybe I'll do that first. Maybe I'll give, I'll give away these six. I don't know that I'm going to announce the, the names of the people. I've never done a raffle copter before, so... We're going to do that now. So your chances of winning are are better than one in the 21,000 entries that you see there um, because it's there's fewer, you know, there's people can have up to 32 entries per person. So I think the total number of, of entries, Raffle Copter's telling me it's like a little over 3,000. So that means... There's an average of like seven entries per person. So your chances aren't horrible. Let's, I just click this uh, add a winner button. The results are powered by random.org. I think random.org, if I remember correctly, I've used that website before. It uses atmospheric um, data to, to seed a random number generator. And it's about as good as you can get. It's hard to make a true random number, but this is um, about as good as it gets. It's kind of cool to see that. Rafflecopter is using random.org. So I'm going to click add a winner and see what the hell happens. It's making some funny little symbols. It's uh, doing something magical. Okay, oh, I can actually. I don't. Can I, uh, can I just name who this is? I think people would like to hear that they won. Um, so Sean Gagne. Um, and. Oh, it shows like his entry number. Pretty cool. So I'm going to send an email because I'm not sure how this works. If I'll if I'll lose this, but I'm going to run down this stack first. He he just won a wool two. I'm so unprepared for this. Um, this is what happens when you fly red eye. I need to get some uh, sticky notes to keep track of 
who's winning what. Okay, I don't have sticky notes, but I have um, <clears throat> index cards. I'll stick them in the book. So I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not going to sign these to a person. I don't think because uh, I know some of you are probably collectors. Maybe I can ask. Maybe when I send an email, I'll ask. So let me create this. Um, that can be a form email. Uh, so congratulations. You won some woolly swag. Want to sign this to anyone in particular, or is it going straight to eBay? Best. Okay, so, um, so Sean, you just want a wool too. Oh, I need your address. Please send the best. All right. So there we go. That's our first winner. Uh, almost, my brain is not working right now. Almost did not copy that before I sent it off. So I need who to sign it to and um, an address. All right. Hey. Why did it uh, took me away from the... Oh, man, that's a bad design. It took me away from the Rapplecopter page. I'm going to click email. Oh, but it does keep his name up. That's cool. So I can just click add a winner button, you know, 12 times and get winners. Oh, let me show you what else someone's going to win. So also have 10 of these to give away. Um, this is this is what everybody wants, even though I just gave away like over 300 of these at the Boing Boing event in San Francisco. So that has like the whole Wolf series on it and um, uh, a couple other things, nothing nothing that's a big deal, but I think they're pretty cool little souvenirs. Um, so I'll have those out. My, my, uh, my, maybe I'm just fuzzy. Maybe I can't see straight. Um, I got no sleep on the flight, man. It was, uh, I was in a cramped little seat, and the lady beside me had a, she had a pillow for each arm in order to claim her armrest and a pillow for her head. And so the pillow was like, Jab, jabbed in my ribs the whole flight. I was screwed over to the side. It was, a, it was an awful uh, flight. Left San Francisco at like uh, 11, 10 last night and arrived here at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning local time with, of course, losing three hours. So, oof. Um, I might like, actually give away uh, the manuscript of my next book or something doing this. Okay, so I'm going to go through some winners here, send some emails out. And um, I wish it didn't do the email on the same page. So we're picking the next winner for another copy of Wall 2. Can I get an intern? Does anybody want to... I don't know what interning <laughs> to help me with all this nonsense would uh, prepare you for in real life. But... I'm looking around my room. I've got like boxes of books from CreateSpace to to sign and ship out. And um, I didn't put this someplace. Here. Can you believe this? A wool one on white paper. That should not exist. That's like a double eagle. All right, next winner. Copy of wool two signed and delivered is Paul Lagace or Lagasse. So congratulations, Paul. You were entry 14,147. All right, now I'll send you a copy of my form email. Once again, 
takes doesn't open up in a new window, which is so annoying. Um, all right, it's not personalized, so I can copy and paste. So I'm assigned to shipping address. All right. Two winners. All right. Another copy of Wool 2. Oh, it tells me what you did as well, like which of these entries won. So for both of you so far, it was liking This Is Wool on Facebook. Um, that that was the entry that, that did it for you. So that's the uh, website set up by, it's doing its thing where it analyzes atmospheric data with random.org before picking a winner. Um, couldn't pick a winner. Weird. Try it again. I had a, I did one uh, entry as a test, um, so maybe I'll win something. <laughs> that would be that would be sad if that happened. I would totally put it on eBay if I won one. Um, oh, cool! This one is going to Rose, who joined the uh, joined my mailing list. So congratulations, Rose. All I have for Rose is her first name. So Rose just won a copy of Wool 2. A great little entry in the in the saga. I love that story. I know some people found it boring. Let's see if I can open a new tab. I can. Alright. I'll have this down by the time I get done with it. So this is just, we're filling this out. This is the build up because soon we're going to be giving away full sets. One through five. These are all, the two through five are all first edition. This is uh, as close to a first edition as I uh, am able. At, uh, the actual first edition that looked like Wool on the cover. There's not many of those out there. Um, so now Wool 4, the Romeo and Juliet um, entry. Three winners so far. We got Five, six, eight, like eighteen to go. You might not want to watch all this. The chances of your name coming up are slim. So, okay, the winner of the first World Four is Carl Lloyd, who liked this as well on Facebook. Boy, that was good karma. If you haven't done that yet, you should go like that page. It might help you out as we come up on the next. Uh, I mean, you're not gonna get more entries, but the uh, gods seem to favor those who did that. So, Carl Lloyd. Congratulations. I'm not sure, uh, sure if this system is bulletproof here. I'm not making any mistakes. All right. Email sent. Congrats, Carl. Pick another winner. Let's also see. Did I share the... I never share the Google Hangout. Only people can't find it. I like it better when people come on the Hangout and chat. Um, put that up on Facebook. Get on Facebook or Twitter, you can find this link to the Google Hangout, and then you'll be able to chat and say, like, why didn't you pick me, you bastard, you atmospheric pressure data points? I'm sorry I'm not doing this after work hours when uh, more people could tune in, but I, um, I've got so much to do today, I feel like I have to get, get this done. Oh, we have the next winner. Um, for a Wolf 4, it is Gretchen. If there's a, probably a bunch of Gretchens who entered, and they're all wondering if it's them. There's no last name here. I can tell you that your email starts with music, so congrats. Let's 
send you an email so you can tell me who to sign these to and where to ship them. Oh, damn, but I made the, oh man, that was such a blunder. When I made the, um, hey, hey, I got people coming in. Um, if you would, uh, if you're not talking, mute, mute your mic so that piping and stuff doesn't, uh, it's not too loud. Um, I forgot to, need to get the subject to this. Okay, that was uh, for Gretchen. One more copy of Wool 4, and then we get, I think, and then I'll do the um, the steps of 5, and we'll, we'll end it with the um, thumb drives. Also, if you're on uh, the Hangout, um, there's a group chat on the right-hand side. You can pull that up. I think it's easier to, to do that. I don't, I mean, all you can do is really complain that you haven't won anything. I wish I had a, I wish I had just enough entries to give everybody one thing. All right, so the winner of the last of the Wolf Fours is Beth Davis, who joined the mailing list. That's how you won this. Congrats, Beth. Send you an email. If somebody sees me uh, miss a step, yell at me. So email sent. Now, this is kind of a big deal, I think. I've been I've been really excited about doing this. So I'm gonna really click a button and somebody's gonna win all five of these wrapped in bubble wrap and shipped to your home, wherever you are around the world. Uh, good luck. Rafflecopter is doing his thing. I wish you could see this. It really Oh, so we have a winner. It's Patrick Tackett, who joined the mailing list. Congratulations, Patrick. Um, I wonder if I should do a different email body. People like this. I'm going to say instead of some moly swag, you have won a full set of original wall books. One. All right. Send that email. This goes pretty smoothly. Add another winner. All right, it's doing its thing. Another set of five more books. Uh, I, I recognize this name. I think this is someone who's been fan for quite some time. It's Stephen Orlos Orlosky. Um, Stephen has ordered signed books from me before, so I'm glad that it's someone who's uh, obviously a big fan. Congrats, Stephen. Stephen Orlosky. So, you just won all five of these books, and you've already read them, so probably straight to eBay with these guys. No. I would love if the, and the chances are just too slim. It'd be so cool if um, somebody was on watching on the hangout and they won. All right, picking another winner. Hey, it's Torben for Germany. Hey, yeah, Torben. And if the shipping is off again, let me know so I can refund you. Um, I don't know why, for some reason, the shipping to Germany comes out. Bad for you. Um, all right. Oh, we have the next winner of five more full books. We have three of these to go, uh, including this one. So this one's going to Stephanie Carp, who won by joining the uh, mailing list. Congratulations, Stephanie. Okay, I've got some good. I've got some cool news for everybody. Even if you don't win something, 
you might want to wait, hang out to the uh, end of this, especially for those of you who are able to goof off at work or aren't at work. Um, got a surprise at the end. Let me send Steph in here. No. And no, the movie's not getting made. That's not what it's about. All right. Click on the button. It's so exciting. Five more. Got to switch back and forth from Windows. Um, yeah, do that because I think there's. Um, I'm answering Torben's question. I think there might be more coming for you. Oh, Stephen. <laughs> yeah, wrong Stephen. Sorry, man. Morning, Bill. I don't know where Chulawoda is. Is that the other coast? All right, let's go back. Oh, we've got a winner. Winner is Cam. K A M. I don't know if that's a, a real name, but if it helps, your email starts with J A N D U. You've just won all five wool books. Congrats. There's only one left, one more set. This is so disappointing for like 3,000 people and really exciting for a handful of people. All right, it's thinking. Um, oh, Will, that's a good question. I should have a spoiler-free session, but I don't think I don't think we set it up to be so spoiler-free tomorrow. So tomorrow probably won't be spoiler-free. It'll be kind of a free-for-all. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to do about that. I should, we probably should have thought about that ahead of time and set it up to be spoiler-free. All right, let's see who won. The winner is. Simply James. Um, and there's probably a lot of Jameses, so uh, the um, email address is something at rekids. So maybe that helps you uh, know who you are. Congratulations. Um, so that's it for those. Send you an email, James. Now we're going to do the thumb drives. So, while it's thinking of a winner, we're going to pull out the thumb drives. Um, I'll tell you the story behind these. So I just went to a Boing Boing conference in, um, in San Francisco, and I wanted to... Boing Boing has been great to me in the series, and I wanted to do some kind of a giveaway, and I thought about taking books, but which book would I take? I didn't want to take Dust, because no one there you know, would have read the other two. And um, so I thought, well, I'll do some kind of a code where people can download the book, and I'm like, uh, who's going to actually do that? I wanted something physical to give away an e-book. And so my idea was uh, these USB, um, or these thumb drives, and um, take one out of the package. I'll have to come that one out. So it's this really cool little uh, plastic thumb drive. Uh, it's got a place where you can put a lanyard on it, so you can wear this around your neck, like you know, as if it gives you access to the fallout shelter. And it opens up just like a um, missile silo. Plug that in, and it's got all three uh, books: wool, shift, and dust on it. It's got some business card info, um, and some little uh, inside joke kind of stuff on the back. Um, they're not very big. You could use these to carry other stuff if you wanted, but they're not huge, but they do fit in your wallet. So if you needed to carry you know, some stuff, you could. But it's more of just uh, a memento. But the uh, So it's got all three books in Moby and EPUB on here, DRM free, instructions on how to load it on your reading device, and then a little uh, PDF for me, just a short note. Um, I've got 10 of these here, so we're going to do 10 more winners. And uh, I think this is already one of the winners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this should be right. Yeah, six of those. So 
um, the first winner of a USB thumb drive is Dave, and uh, your email starts with drive, just so you know who you are. So congrats, you have won a thumb drive. There's no one to, uh, I guess I can sign the back of these. I think I'll just sign the back. So I'll still ask if you want me to sign it to anyone, but otherwise I'm just going to ship these out. And I've got a bunch of these little uh, padded mailers that these are going to go in. And I'll put a label on here, and these will head your way. So Dave, congrats. Compose a little different email for this. We want a what am I calling these? A fallout shelter thumb drive loaded with awesome. Do you want me to sign the back? To anyone in particular, address for you. Perfect. So, all right, nine more of these. Yes, this is taking forever. I apologize. I'm having fun though. Now we got a cool surprise coming up. Okay. The next one is Anton Kaminer. I'm having a hard time with the last names for some reason. Congratulations, Anton. You're going to get the same form email. And we will hear back from you guys, see who to um, who to make these out to, where to ship them. I get those in the mail tomorrow with a whole bunch of more books. All right. Click in the button. Man, I, I would love for someone who's tuned in right now to uh, to win something. That's happened quite a few times. It's, uh, it always feels more immediate. And I hate that everyone watching is just like every time someone else wins, there's that feeling of like, I hate that person. Um, the next person to, to loathe and be envious of is Vincent, whose email starts with um, lounge. Congratulations, Vincent. I'm getting my form email. I have to say, this rafflecopter thing is very cool. It handles the whole business of collecting the entries and picking the winners, organizing everything, it gives you all kinds of metrics. The next winner, I hope this is a Kayla that I know. The winner is Kayla. I don't know her email address well enough. I I used to, uh, it starts, her email address starts with Marvel, and I used to um, write with a NaNoWriMo writing group up in um, Boone. Uh, we had a young, uh, budding author named Kayla. It'd be really cool if that's her, but it's cool for whoever it is. Congratulations. Send you an email. Okay. All right. And another one. Six more to go. The next winner? We're having a good mix of uh, male and female winners. That's cool. Um, I'm always uh, interested in what my readership is like. Um, I It's funny crashing this dust release party over the weekend, and it was me and um, uh, it was, <laughs> it's a funny story. The lady who threw the party, the reason she found it's a um, not a knitting group, but they do hook and something else. It's it's like it's like lace, but it's even more uh, ornate, and it's more like a knit stitch that makes it. But she was looking for a book on wool for the group, and ended up getting a post-apocalyptic story. Fell in love with it, so now it's like a knitting circle that reads wool. So it's very cool to see how I fold people into reading stuff they wouldn't normally have. So this one is uh, going to Cindy Anderson. Congratulations. Again, uh, five more, and then I've got a little bit of a surprise. It's thinking. 
Bill Leffler says, I hate that person. Mary Beth, you read Wool in your book club? That's awesome. Thank you. I'm glad everyone loved it. I think when people don't like it, that's, that's awkward. Um, okay, congratulations to Mike Pilcher, who followed me on Twitter to win this. Email. I hope I haven't forgot to email anybody. It saves all these winners though in the account. So, all right, four more. I've got such a great surprise. Okay, I said I couldn't pick a winner. Try again. I hope I win something. Still got four more chances. I've got one entry out of the 21,000. It's me! No, it's not. It's Chris. Chris, um, and the email starts Chris R E N. I won't say the rest of it because I don't want you to get spammed with email, but just so you know who you are, because there's a, I'm sure will a handful of Chris's who entered. So congratulations, Chris. Send your email. All right, three more. And the next winner is... Franz Liner. Congratulations, Franz. I can recognize that name. I like when the names seem familiar. It means uh, they've either interacted with me somewhere or um, sent an email or ordered a book. I'm sure a lot of people enter these raffle copters just because they see it on Twitter and it's like, hey, if I win something, I'll win something. They don't really care about that. Material. I'd rather people who care about this stuff to, to win it. All right, two more. God, I'm getting now. It's down to the nitty gritty. I'm getting nervous for people. All right, this one's going to Jerry Sterling. Congrats. She tweeted about the giveaway. Her email. One more, and then and then a little bit of news. So, button has been clicked. The last one is being selected. This one is going to Patrick Tackett. Name seems familiar. Does someone did that? Oh, I feel like, yeah, Patrick already won something. I feel like I should do that over. And I am, because Patrick won something great. He won the first five ebooks. And Patrick, the news I'm going to have after this uh, should keep you from being too upset about me doing it again. That's incredible. Two wins out of uh, 21,000. I don't think that happened anywhere else. Okay, so. This is going to Eric Christopher Longhurst. Congratulations, Eric. And now I have uh, some news. Let me send an email to Eric first. I have some news for Patrick Tackett, who should have just won a, um, a thumb drive, but had already won a full set of Wolf Through Five. And Patrick, what? Here, let me show you something. So, I they had, they had 300 people coming to this. Um, to this, first of all, congratulations to all the winners. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for entering and spreading the news. Um, they had over 300 people at this event, and um, 
so I made enough to make sure. I'm checking my dust bag. Uh, it's courtesy of Wendy Strand. Um, I, I made enough of these thumb drives to make sure I had plenty there. Then I got worried as we were setting them out, the number that I took to the event. So it was just barely enough to cover the chairs. Then I noticed all the chairs weren't full, but after I announced to, uh, on, on stage, I announced what was on the thumb drives, all the thumb drives on the empty chairs disappeared. Like people went and I think I know the couple of uh, people who went and snagged a bunch of them. I was that's exactly what I wanted to happen. So the people who cared about this stuff went home with with a, a bunch of them. But um, I printed, I made extras. So, haha, exactly, yay. So what I'm going to do with these? I think I have like 120 here, and I I, uh, I can get more of these made, and I'm working on that now. But what I'm going to do is put these up on my website for sale, and um, my wife's going to get mad at me for. Um, uh, and see, this is why this appeal applies to you, Patrick Tackett. You can take these and put them on eBay for enough to buy one of these. Um, so the books are five ninety nine each. The wool shift and dust. So add those together, and it comes to like seventeen ninety seven. Um, I hope that's right. Uh, and what I was going to do is, is add a dollar to that for the plastic. It's actually more than that to make these. Um, and I was going to make it eighteen uh, ninety seven for one of these, and that gets you all three books um, for basically the you basically get this for the cost of the three books plus a dollar plus I don't know it might be two bucks something to ship it and the mailer, um, but it'll be about. 20 bucks for one of these. Now, if you already own the books, I don't think you should get one of these. It's just a thumb drive. But there's a bunch of you who really wanted to win one of these, and people thought they were really cool. So I'm going to make them available on the site. Um, if I see that there's that much demand for them, that they're going to sell out, then I'll, I'll have some more made. But I want everyone who wants one of these to be able to get one. Um, uh, the people who have um, had one have loved them. I, I can't believe that some of the people at the Boing Boing meetup who are like people that I idolize who were really geeking out over getting one of these things. So um, they've been very popular. I don't want anyone to not get one. I'm excited for the people who won them and the people who won the original um, wool books. But um, we'll make sure that if you want one of these, we'll get you one. And it's probably something I'll do again in the future. I'm already thinking of one for like the Molly Fight Saga. And then it's like a collectible card that actually holds the, the book. So um, for the Molly Fight Saga, I might make it like one of Walter's thumb drives. It'll have all kinds of warnings on there, like in his in his writing, like with with his lisp in the writing. So the Molly Fight fans would get a kick out of it. So that's the big surprise. We have like over a hundred of these. I'll have a link up on my website, hopefully this week, and um, we won't run out. I, I don't. I don't think we'll have that many people who want these to run out of these. But if we do, I'll get some more. So that's it. Congrats to the winners. Everyone's got emails. I'll start checking those. I'm gonna start signing books and packaging those. I'm, I'm tempted to show you what my room looks like, my office right now, um, but I'm too embarrassed. Um, it's an absolute mess. I've got so much to do. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, congrats, and we'll uh, thanks for making the dust release such a huge success. And we'll do something like this again in the future. I don't know what to do about this white wool. That is, that's uh, that's going on my on my bookshelf. I think fascinating. All right, see you everybody.